So we're going to clean the skin a little bit. In my opinion, there's two techniques in my actions that are worth buying my actions just for these. Um, the skin clean. Um, you can look it up yourself if you don't want the actions. The technique is called frequency separation technique. Um, now with the Google and the YouTube, it's pretty easy to find pretty much every, anything, a tutorial on it, so you guys can find it. So what it does is it separates your image, so you've got your color, your color, and then you have your texture. So you know when you have the image and you're working on it with your clone stamp tool and everything just starts to look fake and plastic and you just start to lose all the texture? Well now here, when you have this frequency separation technique, now I can go in with my clone stamp tool and I can work just on the areas where I want to affect the color and it doesn't, it doesn't touch the texture. So in here, oops. See that? See all the texture is still there? It's all preserved. But I'm just affecting color right here. And you can even grab from the other side just to start the color that you want. Uh oh. Okay. I get crazy with the space bar sometimes and don't realize it actually moved the whole image. Do you guys ever work so fast and then see? <laughs> Okay, so you can see where the color, what's happening there. So what I'll do is I will just do one little area. So I've just done the color, and then I'll go to the opacity where I want it blended, and then I flatten, and then I do it again. I don't ever do all of my cleaning on the skin in, on one time. So, you know, you can, the steps for the frequency separation, are, it's, it's tedious. So now all I have to do is just hit F6, and it's done. So now I know I can just um, blast through. I mean, for the, for the uh, sake of um, teaching, I'm talking a lot, it's, sorry guys. It's a little slower, but um, I'm, in my pro post-processing, using my actions, I never spend more than 10 minutes on an image. So see here how we're affecting the texture now, but not touching the color? And again, you, you know, this is getting to back to where, um, how much Photoshop you should do, especially when you have like, you know, an older gal or someone who's curvy. Um, just remember subtle changes make a big difference. 